Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my spring morning routine. Just kind of giving you a rundown of how things go from the time my toddler wakes up till he goes to bed. Also giving you a look at the current makeup I've been loving and the order I've been doing it, skincare, all that, as well as some of my blooms from the bulbs in the backyard. So let's get into my spring morning routine. So our day starts anywhere between 6 and 7.30 these days, just depending on when Milo wakes up. But we get him up, we change him, and he usually comes in bed and he requests poo. So we watch some poo. Bradley's there as well. And so is Ludi. Ludi is the last riser. He sleeps later than all of us. We wish we could sleep in as late as Ludo, but he has no responsibilities. So he's the last to get up. Now, usually if Bradley works early, he will take the baby downstairs. They'll play. He'll start on breakfast while I at least shower put a bra on, do my skincare, get some deodorant on if that's the base of what I'm doing that day. But this day was a little different because I was filming this for you guys. So I was able to get like fully ready, do my makeup and all that. So I showered after breakfast, which you'll see. Well, you won't see me in the shower, but anyway. I am making some scrambled eggs. Milo actually just currently went through a phase of he didn't want scrambled eggs, but then this morning he ate them again. So like, toddlers are wild, man, but I'm just scrambling them up, putting in some salt and pepper. I am using my new Our Place Every Pan. You guys, the hype on this pan is real. Like I look forward to doing dishes so I can wash this pan because it comes so clean so easily. It's supposed to be like a non-toxic, non-stick pan and it is magical. I got it for Christmas. I have it in the color sage and I just have so far been really enjoying using it. So I'm just scrambling up those eggs. I'm gonna pour myself some orange juice, which I very specifically like the organic orange juice from Trader Joe's. It's my favorite. Ludi wishes he could have some as well in my favorite anthropology cup. And we had mini bagels this day as well. Milo had some fruit, eggs, and half a mini bagel. Then we take the dog out and I use this time to peruse the yard because it's such an exciting time where we have all these bulbs. Things are blooming overnight and everything looks different every day. And I just, you guys, if you were like me and consider yourself not a spring person, plant some bulbs because truly it has turned my spring around. Spring is now one of my favorite seasons. Look at these daffodils and they're so, all you have to do is throw them in some dirt in November and just wait. They're incredible. I had, those were some um, geraniums. That's a Gerber daisy. And like I said, everything is like blooming. I have no idea what this is going to be. Some sort of bulb behind it. I have some purple tulips that are about to bloom. It's just an exciting time. So I really enjoy, I peruse the yard several times a day. It just makes me happy. All these freaking daffodils. Daffodils are officially my new favorite flower. They have stolen my heart. I love them so much. And I have baby peaches on my peach tree. I am so excited. If you have any peach tree tips, let me know. I do see some ants on there, as you see right there. That can't be good. But um, we planted this last year, so I am so excited. And all the daffodils on the hill are starting to die, but they have brought me so much joy and I hope they just multiply. Then I head upstairs and get in the shower. I keep my skin here very simple. Literally, I use the simple moisturizing facial wash. And then I've had eczema issues since I've had Milo. So the Dove soap seems to be best for my body and it smells really good. I put on my new shirt from American Eagle. I love it. I love the brown color and it's really comfortable. And then jump scare. But this was actually the worst, my perioral dermatitis ever got so I wanted to show you how like dry and crusty it was um so I am going in with the cream this was before I started the antibiotic I said that weird antibiotic <laughs> happy to report that I am on week two of the antibiotic and I think it's working I'm trying not to get too excited I'm keeping up with the creams but um yeah so cross your fingers for me I'm brushing my teeth I also realized I left things out of this like deodorant and body spray but I used those too then I'm going in with this Elemis pro collagen cream this is not my favorite for moisturizing per se but i do feel like my skin looks younger like i looked up in the mirror the other day and i was like my skin i look like a baby which i have a baby face so maybe not a baby but like i don't know just like my skin looked younger so i will continue to use the whole thing up and then let you know going in with some spf this is the josie marin get even sun milk i love this stuff very picky about sunscreen on my face it doesn't leave a white cast it doesn't get in your eyes it doesn't get in your mouth it's not greasy. I just, I really, really like this stuff. So I am putting that on underneath my makeup and then I'm gonna give it a chance to sit. And while all my skincare is sitting, I am going to make the bed because you have a better day, I believe, when you make your bed. Do I make it every day? Absolutely not. Oh, but my bad. First, we're gonna moisturize lips with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the peppermint flavor. I got it for Christmas. Any of them are good though. I have the berry, I have the gummy bear. They are all delicious and they just feel good. So anyway. Back to the bed, gonna slap that together, just make it real quick. Takes, I was gonna say two seconds, that's not true. It takes me a good five minutes, but it is also totally worth it by the time you get back into your bed at the end of the day, it just feels better. 
And then once my skincare has had a chance to sit, I'm going in with some makeup. So this is just basically my makeup routine as of late, going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I am immature and it doesn't even make sense. I don't know what about this to me is phallic, but it makes me giggle every time I use it, even watching it. It's not even that penis shaped. I don't know what it is, but it makes me giggle. But I'm using my new Ulta Beauty sponge, which I am enjoying to blend it out. I will have everything and the colors I use linked or the shades I use linked down below. But it just gives your skin a really nice glow underneath your foundation. I've really been enjoying it. Then I'm going in with the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I am in the shade Nude 2.5, I believe. It has a pump, which is fantastic. And with that same sponge, I'm just going to apply it all over my face. I really like the color match for me. I love the coverage. It's not too much. I'd, I'd say it's definitely medium coverage. It is buildable. Um, I like the way it covers my skin issues as I showed you earlier. It looks like your skin is showing through and it gives a little bit of a glow. So I really like it. Then I'm going in with just a little bit of my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I love this stuff. I forget the shade, but this shade is the perfect match for me. I'll link it down below. I use this as a spot concealer. I only use a little bit around the um, rash under my nose because it is, as you saw, dry and crusty. Too much product isn't good, but I, d I did put a little bit there for you today. I have been loving so many different bronzer options lately, but I, in this video, used the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer in a deeper shade for a bronzer on me, and I love it. I love the way the shade looks. I believe it's tan to deep. Again, I'll link it down below. Um, I'm just using this old Morphe brush, which is really dirty and I need to clean it, so don't pay attention to that. But the staying power of this is awesome with the concealer formula. It is a little bit heavy sometimes, so I do have to go back in with my um, foundation sponge and just kind of even everything out. But in the end, I love the way it looks and I've been using it all the time. Taking a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder something, just setting underneath my eyes. Um, that nude sticks foundation can crease under my eyes, so I'm just setting a little bit. I like that this is it adds a little bit of coverage, but not too much. So I just set where I sweat or where I need some more coverage. Then I'm going in with probably my favorite eyeshadow of all time. It's MAC All That Glitters. It was discontinued, then they brought it back. I don't really know the story about it now. Um, I think I have a backup after this one just in case. But yeah, I'm just applying that. It's one of the good ones that you just apply all over your lid and you're one and done. Then I am curling both lashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curler, which I love going in with my L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. This is my current favorite. I just ran out of it and I've been using other things and I'm like, I need to go to Target immediately and get another bottle because I just can't be without it. Then I'm going in with my Merit Beauty Blush Balm. I think this is in the color Stockholm. They sent this to me to try out and I am absolutely loving it. Look at that beautiful pink color. Like this is my ideal color, I feel like, especially when I'm wearing a bronzy eyeshadow. And just look how beautiful the formula just blends into your skin. I just use my fingers to blend it out. This is not sponsored, but I do have a link where if you use it, you get free shipping and a free makeup bag. And the makeup bag is really cute. So I'll link that down below. Um, but I'm really enjoying that blush. And then I've also been enjoying the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Liquid Highlighter. I'm really into cream and liquid products right now, if you can't tell. This stuff, so much of it comes out. So it is kind of scary, you gotta be careful. But I've just been taking the tiniest bit on my finger and putting it where I like to put my highlight, which is the top of my cheekbones, my nose, a little bit of my cupid's bow, maybe some underneath my brow bone. But as you can see, it just blends so nicely in with that blush. And I just, I love the way cream products look on my skin lately, um, and I love the color of this highlighter. It only comes in one shade, which is a bummer, but if you're close to my shade, you might like it. Then shockingly, I'm going in for the brows, but I'm not using my Gimme Brow because I'm out of it, but now it's the Sephora sale, so I'm gonna buy it. But in the meantime, I was using my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I think it's called. If I'm gonna use a pencil, this is my favorite one, um, but I find it not as easy as the Gimme Brow. It just takes a little more effort of blending things out and filling things in and I messed up. <laughs> but um, overall, it's a good product. I am in the shade three in these products, I think. It's a bit of a more warm brown and since I'm, I'm not a ginger, but I tend to be on the gingery side of things, I like that shade. I'm a two coats of mascara kind of gal, so I'm adding another coat of that. And then I'm sealing my brows to my face with the 24 hour brow setter. I always say, this is from Benefit. I like this better than the Anastasia brow gel. I was out of focus, there we go. Um, this just is a little less crusty in my opinion and I really enjoy it. Then I'm setting everything with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Face Spray. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. Stay tuned. I've, at least my face feeling kind of sticky. Does anybody else feel like that? I don't know. 
But that's it for the makeup. I am taking my hair down, but this stuff takes forever to dry and makes me feel sticky. So I'm just fanning my face to make it dry. Gonna put in some earrings. I am wearing my favorite combo, which are my Kate Spade, that sparkle earring. Oh, Ludo ran up like a maniac. And then my Ana Luisa mini organic pearl in the second hole. This is my very favorite combo. I wear it most days. And that's the finished makeup, nice and fresh and glowy. It's what I've been wearing pretty much every day. And then my son came for a visit. He was running up the stairs like a little duckling. He's just the absolute cutest. Hey, dude. <laughs> Here's another quick look at the finished makeup. And then I play with Milo until nap time. He was taking all of his bath toys, putting it on his little table. Ludo was laying out in the hallway with the swiver duster, apparently. Milo had just had his lunch and was going down for a nap soon, so we brushed his teeth. We have a little Dr. Brown's toothbrush. It looks like a giraffe. He loves having his teeth brushed, and then we let him hold it and do it for a little bit. Um, but that's fun. Then I'm just preparing his room for his nap. I'm closing the blinds. I, I always have to fuss with them to make sure no sun is peeking through, although he's not too picky. Then I'm turning on the Hatch sound machine. This thing is a game changer. I'll link it down below. I, we bought one for us because we love it so much. Then I'm making sure Pooh, his current lovey at the moment, is ready for him in the crib. Put him in the sleep sack, rock him a little bit. We read a book before nap time. Um, and then I put him down to sleep. I consider the morning up until nap time, which is usually around 11, 11.30, that's the end of the morning. So that is my current morning routine. Like I said, this was the version of when Bradley's home and I get to do my makeup. And of course it took me longer because I'm filming it. Maybe we could do like a vlog style, real chatty toddler routine, morning routine. So let me know if you'd be into that. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe and stick around. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye.